All right, hi everyone. <laughs> uh, give me a moment for me to start the uh, my cooking appas uh, Facebook so that I can actually see all your comments later as well. Just now, I actually started the live session at the wrong place. I started it in my own uh, in my own. Uh, My own account rather than cooking up our account and then i was thinking how come there was only five six person it doesn't make sense okay now i can see you all right all right okay ah now it makes sense hi jolene hi jolene <laughs> now i use i got 39 again now it makes sense okay all right <laughs> just now actually many of my personal friends were might be uh might be pondering and wondering what what happened to uh, what happened to me. Okay, now uh, this particular episode is actually specially made for many of you that has been asking Appa a lot of questions on the work Appa is using, uh, especially on uh, how things like how come Appa how come your your stainless steel wok is always so shiny? Uh, how do you maintain it? And uh, is it a non-stick? Yeah. Or, or some people have been telling Appa that their, their non-stick wok can never use more than six months or, or just few months already the non-stick coating already dropped. So they, they are actually wondering actually how to really get a good wok and actually go and maintain them. So this particular episode is all about sharing with you all. Uh, to my best of knowledge, uh, so I, cannot, uh, I may not be right all the way. <laughs> hi Rizal, hi hi hi. Thank you, thanks for coming to uh, Cooking Appa. If you like my vi my face, if you like Appa to do more sh Facebook live with you all, uh, please share uh, like this and also share out to your friends on your Facebook. Okay, so that more of them, uh, more of them will be able to see this together. Now, okay, uh, but today uh, I'm not just going to talk about talk about the walk. I'm also going to cook a very simple dish here. Uh, I actually have a uh, high one wu, nan, nan wu or one wu, can't see clearly, too many likes. Okay, I actually have some prawn with me and I'm going to make a very simple asam prawn using my new, um, my new uh, non-stick wok. Okay, so along the way, I'll be talking about all this uh, wok, yeah, wok information. Now, uh, let me see. Let me try to adjust the angle for you. You may want to close your eyes for uh, 10 seconds while I'm <laughs> manually adjusting this. Appa is one man show by the way. Everything I do it my own. Okay. Oh, by the way, any, any of you want to send me stuff, please do so also. You are, you are going to help to maintain my channel and help me to buy more grocery and make more cooking videos for you. Okay, as you can see from here, uh, I have a few pieces of prawns here. Uh, trim the leg and also cut off the uh, pointy part. You can just use scissor to do it, okay? And then after that, uh, what you need here is most important ingredient. Oh, sorry. Most important ingredient, one big spoonful of Assam paste. And uh, many of you like to ask me which Assam paste I'm using right now. I'm using the one from... Uh, Adabi, very nice, very smooth, and the sourish is very natural, very nice, okay? And then, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of sh sugar, you can use white sugar, I'm I, I happen to have some uh, uh, gula melaka here, so I'm using gula melaka. And I'll be adding a little bit of uh, fish sauce later. So what we want to do right now is to marinate it. Okay, put in the light soya sauce. Put in the dark soya sauce. Okay, the sugar. You can use white sugar also, huh? no problem. Huh? And not forgetting the asam, asam puree. 
Like I, I always use out and then you mix everything up. Oh, not forget, I almost forget the free sauce. Okay, about one teaspoon. Now, uh, the thing about Assam puree is this. Many used to buy Assam paste, but when you buy Assam paste, you actually have to remove the seeds. Very troublesome. Um, I like buying puree. Puree meaning there's no seeds already. Yeah, You can actually just take out the Assam uh, straight away. The Assam puree straight away. The Assam paste straight away. There's no seeds. So very easy. Yeah. Okay, make sure everything is uh, nicely coated, especially with the Assam paste or some puree. And we leave it marinate for a couple of minutes. While waiting, let me show you the wok. Again, I'm going to move the anger. Okay. Now you can you can see from this angle that I Appa actually bought out two of my work. Appa has a lot of works, by the way. <laughs> hi Alien. Uh, hi Katie. Hi City Nor uh, Norlaini. Okay. Uh, Appa. City is asking Appa, may I know what brand you use for dark soya sauce? It's a brand from I think Angel Brand. It's called Angel Brand. Okay, now. As you can see from here, there are two kinds of wok that I use more often. This is actually very new because I newly got it from China. This is the one that many of you already know. It is the standard steel pot that I use from Thermos Malaysia. By the way, all this, um, the standard steel pot, if you want the link, I'll put it inside the description box later. Now, uh, this is from Thermos Malaysia. Uh, many of you know already, I have been using it for a couple of years. And of course, there's no issue, there's no, there's no problem. By why is it sometimes I also like to use non-stick? Because two of them actually is, are having different characteristics. Yeah, they are having different characteristics. So, let, let, let me uh, look at my notes. Now. <laughs> Just in case I forgot. Now, first of all, right? first of all, uh, of course, this is the stainless steel. And this one, the non-stick, they actually comes with many kinds. Uh, this is what they call the Mai Fan, shi, mai fan Stone. Okay, the coating is actually called the Mai Fan Stone. Uh, and then, um, together with aluminum. Yeah, that is the combination with Mai Fan Stone coating with aluminum. And then this one is the three-ply stainless steel. Yeah, so first question is, many people ask me, Appa, can you teach me how to season my wok? Now, uh, you, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but after my personal research and talking to some chef, what I really understand from seasoning when it comes to these two kind of pot is that you don't really need seasoning. Uh, they, when, when you bought it, when you bought it, the manufacturer will actually give you some very simple instruction. Like for example, um, this particular from Supo. Supo is actually one of the uh, most famous brand of kitchenware in China. Okay, so um, so when 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 it when it when it is sent to sent to me, it comes with a, a simple instruction. They say uh, before the first time you use it, can you please uh, rub a little bit of oil and then uh, oh no no sorry. You uh, wash it with some uh, uh, detergent and then rub a, a thin layer of oil on top of it and then rub it off and wash it off again. Okay, so it is that is not really to season if you really ask me. It's, it's more like it's, it's more like a, a, a just to clean the wok rather. Okay, so it's actually the same thing with the same thing with stainless steel pot. Stainless steel pot you don't really need to uh, season it. Okay, now, uh, I'm sorry, I kept saying okay, many people is going to scold me again. <laughs> Alright, so next thing, so that is the part on seasoning. So what kind of what you really need to season? If you buy the cast iron pot, that one you really need to season to really get the non-stick effect. If you don't season it, you will not get the non-stick effect. Um, I will talk a little bit more on 
cast iron pot, I think in my, in my, uh, I think in my notes, I did talk about it a little bit. Okay, so, and then, uh, how do you use it? Second question is, how do you use it? Why I'm saying this is because uh, many people have been asking Appa, Appa, how come uh, your stainless steel wok uh, actually uh, reacts, reacts like a non-stick, meaning they always see uh, your wok doesn't stick one. How come Appa, when I, when I cook, my, cook using my own stainless steel wok at home, uh, is, you, you, you will get burned so easily and then uh, stick at the bottom and then yours doesn't stick. Actually, mine also doesn't stick but the thing is sometimes you all can't see it from my video. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Now that's one. Number two, there are ways on how you can avoid your stainless steel wok to stick. Alright, uh, I used to say this in some of my videos. What you do is, number one, you always add oil in cold wok. That's number one. Add oil when the wok is still cold. Then only you raise the heat. That's number one. Number two, you actually need to compare with a non-stick. You actually need to put a little bit more oil. Okay? A little bit more oil compared to using non-stick. Alright? Number three, do not raise the heat too high. This is the three things you need to learn when you are using stainless steel wok then your sticking problem will reduce it will still stick lah, i'm telling you it will still stick unless you put a lot a lot a lot of oil <laughs> okay but it will still stick but it will reduce the problem okay so by the way i'm looking at my notes now so i may not be able to see your comment and answer your question along the way i will try to answer some of the questions uh somebody is asking are you selling this non-stick wok no, no, go to Taobao and look for Supo. <laughs> Supo, that's their number one brand in China. I'm not selling it, okay? But uh, after a, few, a couple of days of using it, I love it. Nice, very nice. And I will tell you why I love it later. Okay, uh, so how to use, so that is the part where you need to learn how to use on the uh, stainless steel. Then let's come to uh, non-stick. Basically non-stick, uh, you don't have so much law or rules because it is non-stick. <laughs> so first of all, you don't need to put a lot of oil already. You can put a little bit of oil, lesser oil compared with stainless steel. And then, um, oh, something which is similar between the two is you're not supposed to use too high heat on your non-stick as well. That is going to spoil your coating easier, right? Try not to use too high heat. Try to cook within the range of median, plus minus median heat or even slightly lower. Yeah? So, uh, what else? Oh, okay. Another thing on using the, the wall is this one, you, can on, you, you, you don't want to scratch the coating. So, you can only use uh, uh, either a, a wooden spatula or a, a rubberized spatula okay but make sure your rubberized spatula can withstand high heat yeah so that's number one but when it comes to when it comes to this when it comes to the stainless steel wall that is the time where you can scratch it as much as you can it will not hurt it will not hurt your stainless steel wall because it is built to last yeah it is built to last so you can use i, I love to use my spoon <laughs> but I mean, too many people go to apart for that. So I, I, I very seldom use a spoon, at least if not in front of the camera. Lah. Okay, so that is the second part on how to actually use it. And, um, uh, and then how to wash it. After use, what I normally do is, uh, if it's still hot, I will add in hot water to wash it first. I will add, because I have a water dispenser. So very easily, I get some hot water. Uh, wash it first. Then after that, second round, I will put in the uh, my dishwasher, which is from Malaluka. Okay, I, I remember putting that link before. Okay? Somebody scolded me. Anyway, nowadays people like to scold people. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> um, make sure you don't wash your wok when the wok is still very hot using cold water. So try try your best to use uh, hot water to to put in hot water to let it cool down a little bit 
then only you wash it using normal temperature water. If, especially when it comes to this, uh, by the way, um, if you're talking about, sorry, before that, if you're talking about stainless steel wok, no matter how burnt it is, it is very easy to wash. Wipe it, you will, you will gone. Stainless steel, sometimes if the burn is a little bit more serious, then you have to use other method. Uh, best way is to get a, to get a soda, baking soda. Baking soda mixed with white vinegar, soak it, okay? Baking soda mixed with white vinegar, you can put in a little bit of water, soak it, let it soak. Then after a few minutes, then only you try to wash, that would help. Okay, so that's how I actually maintain uh, my wok. Um, what else? Okay, how to use it the right way, I already explained. Stainless steel wok, you add oil in cold wok, then raise the heat, yeah? And then uh, stainless steel wok, or just for general knowledge, huh? stainless steel wok, usually what you can find in the market is you have what we call a three ply or five ply. Of course, when it comes to the more ply, meaning the more layer it has, the, the heavier it is. Uh, too heavy, very difficult for us. Yeah, we are not that strong. So I ch I prefer a three ply. Even for this, for me, it's considered a bit heavy. All right. Uh, and then why why it has a, actually has a combination of different layer because of the heat transmission. Stainless steel. Uh, for your information, stainless steel itself, the heat transmission is very bad. So. A stainless steel wok cannot be on, made out of only stainless steel. A stainless steel wok will normally be combined with other kind of material such as copper or aluminium. That will help, or, or even metal maybe, uh, which will actually help to, uh, enhance, to, to, to enhance the heat transmission. So this is why you see the three layer and five layer. Uh, what else? Let me see. Uh, okay, one thing about non-stick. Try not to heat anything inside here without any oil or water. I mean, sorry. Try not to heat up the wok without anything inside. Meaning it's empty. Like this, empty. And then you on your fire. Alright? If you let it burn empty like that for 5 minutes, it will actually spoil your wok. Try not to do that. And of course, I mentioned just now, non-stick, don't use too high heat. Okay, wok hay. Some people ask me about, Appa, wok hay. I want wok hay. How ah? So, wok hay, the best is to use a cast, uh, a iron wok. Okay, iron wok, where you see a lot of smokes coming out. Then only you see wok hay. Why is wok hay? Wok hay actually is the aroma created from the smoke, the smokiness. Yeah, the aroma created from the smokiness. So if there's no smoke, uh, basically there's no wok hay. Uh. <laughs> so what do you want? You want, you want uh, wok hay at home from your dishes, then I'm telling you, your whole house will be smoky. <laughs> no matter how good is your, uh, your hope. Yeah? So you decide, yeah, you decide. For me, through the, the standard steel wall, I can still create a little bit of wahe, a little bit of cha, okay? Cha, not burn. Cha and burn is two different things, yeah? Cha is like seven, maybe 60, 70% burn. Burn is 100% burn, <laughs> okay? Cha, you don't have the aftertaste bitterness. Burn is totally bitter, before or after. Okay, so we, when, when, we, when Chinese cook, we, we always like to char the ingredient, but we don't want to burn the ingredient. That is the Kung Fu that you need to learn. If you are not sure, then the trick is don't use too high heat. Use a lower heat, then it will slowly get the char feeling. So sometimes when I want to um, uh, fry an egg, nice, nice, a nicer fried egg, I will use, a, of course, a little bit more oil, and also I will try to use a stainless steel. That will give you nicer uh, result. So what is now? Let's talk a bit on this cast iron wok. First of all, you definitely need to seasoning. I don't have cast iron wok. I tried to buy one recently, and when uh, from one local brand, uh, when the seller sent to me, the whole wok was broken. <laughs> 
into pieces. <laughs> My goodness, what kind of cast iron is that? Oh, terrible. Okay, it's a branded branded in uh, in Malaysia, but what kind of? Uh, but anyway, the that that particular so called cast iron wok for that particular brand is is so called lighted uh, lightweight cast iron. So basically, it's much more thinner. Uh, uh, so it broken lah. Huh? So I already returned. Now, the, the if you really want wok hay, then you need to get a cast iron wok that really. Uh, works the best but you really need to properly season it how to season go to look for the youtube video a lot of videos teaching you how to season the wok and now but to be very frank uh, my personal my personal uh, advice to most of you unless you are a sifu if not if you are a, a, a mature like appa uh, <laughs> i don't suggest you using cast iron uh, cast iron pot, I mean wok. Sorry, the the iron iron uh, the the chef chef iron wok. Why? The reason being, I notice many people always burn. Always end up got burn oil, which they don't know. I've seen this recently on one post where after usage, a lady actually use a kitchen towel to to wipe, to wipe the the surface of their cast iron wok. Um, when and then it shows brownish color, so she actually asked in the group asking, "Hey, what is this? Uh? is it okay? Uh? is it normal?" Uh? now many people tell her it's normal, meaning actually many people have the same problem with her who that who doesn't know to how to tackle this problem. You know what is the brownish thing that is burnt oil. I double check with a professional chef. The chef told me that is burnt oil. Usually, when the normal chef found see that happening, they will re-season the whole wok over and again. Ah, see, this is what people don't understand because they thought, eh, uh, the the they, they they thought even seeing the brown the burnt oil, they still thought they still thinking that, eh, my 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 um, my cast iron pot still works perfectly when it comes to a non-stick uh, function. So they thought it's okay, but as a matter of fact, they are actually letting they are continuing letting their family eating burnt oil, and you, I don't have to tell you whether it's a good thing or not. So I don't, I don't recommend. Or every time when you find burnt oil, it's really recommended for you to season it all over again. Yeah, then it should be fine. So you have to be very rajina, do a lot of things. And cast iron, you can only wash using water. If you accident, accidentally use detergent or your a dishwasher or your, uh, your helper accidentally use a dishwasher without your knowledge, ah, then you have to, you, uh, it will actually wash off the so-called uh, non-stick layer. So you will have to re-season your cast iron wok again. In, in, in other words, uh, in other words, why Appa doesn't really end up using cast iron wool is because it's very ma fun. Uh. <laughs> Anything very ma fun, Appa will not do. Alright? So, uh, very troublesome. I, I, I don't want it. So, uh, after that, now let's talk about the lifespan. If you, from my previous experience, not this one, not this one, the normal, um, the normal, uh, normal non-stick pen, if I use it every day, usually it will not be able to last over six months. If I use it every day. But uh, the one I had from Tofau, which I've been using more than one year, still working very well, is because I only use it like maybe two, three times a month. So it really depends on your usage. But one thing for sure, anything non-stick, once the coating is off, it will become stick. <laughs> so how do you know? The coating actually went off. That is when you start finding your food started to stick to your uh, non-stick pot. That is a signal telling you that pot you cannot use anymore. You have to change. If not, you will be getting your family to continue eating the coating. Alright? Because the coating is starting to wear out. But like I said, if you have few different pots to mix, uh, mix the usage, uh, it can last easily more than one year. Easily, easily. I have proven it myself. 
Okay, so uh, this one is from the My Fun Stone. Seems to be have slightly longer life than the normal non-stick. Uh. This is what I, uh, I've seen so far. Now, next question. How to choose a walk? So how do you choose a walk? So why is it last time I'm so difficult for me to find the right walk? It's because when, 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 when our family bought this, this uh, particular condominium, it actually comes with an electric stove. So it is actually flat bottom. And, but the, the so-called, or the most of the walk outside, the Chinese walk, uh, outside doesn't have the depth. So it took me a long a while to really look for a walk that actually has a good depth with a flat bottom. Eventually, I found Thermos Malaysia. So this is one of the reasons why I like it, because as you can see from here, this walk gives really good depth, at least about 8 or 9 centimeters, easily. Okay? Now, when I was looking for a new non-stick, so I came across this. Look at how tall it is. It is also flat bottom. And this one is at least about 9 cm at least. Right? And with a very nice handle. So you have to look at whether you are getting a flat bottom or, what, or not. Right? So, uh, and the height here, the height of the wok becomes a very important issue. So, uh, and then, there are also some walk with a much wider flat bottom depending on your usage okay i also have another one which has a much larger flat bottom so it really depends on usage this one has a much narrower flat uh, narrow, narrower flat bottom but it gives me better height and i like i prefer this shape also so what's the difference between narrower bottom uh, narrower bottom like this one tend to use lesser oil so when we put down the oil to deep fryer it will need lesser oil and if it has a much wider bottom, then the good thing, the bad thing is it will require a lot more, a lot more uh, oil. But at the same time, it will actually uh, require, uh, it will actually be heated up faster because it has more contact. Yeah, it, have, it has more contact with the surface on here. So basically for me, walk, when it comes to walk, the height here, the better, the higher, the better. And then it needs a long handle like this, so that so that it won't burn you, okay? And this handle must be heat resistant. And the next thing uh, is actually something that I, to me lah, very important. And something that Thermos Malaysia cannot give it to me. I mean, uh, they don't they don't have that, which is a transparent lid. Transparent lid is very important because without the transparent lid lah. Uh, Unless you are a very seasoned chef, you don't have to open and see what's happening inside. Yeah, many of time we need to simmer, right? Close the lid and apa we say, okay, now you close the lid, use a uh, medium low fire and simmer it for half an hour. All right, but but that half an hour, do you want to open and see or not? With this one, sometimes I have to open because I worry that the water may dry out. But this one, I no need to open because I can see. Right. So, this glass here is a very important uh, factor to me. So, uh, what else? So that we, we won't be uh, disturbing the cooking process. Every time you open, uh, the heat will run away. And then, of course, the ladder. I talk about the ladder. Uh, standard steel, uh, for, for, for standard steel wall, you can use any ladder you like. This one, you can't really scratch it, okay? Oh, there's one more. Some people like, I don't know whether all this company at the end of the day will come and sue me or not. I bought a honeycomb wok before. I'm not sure have any of you have seen that before. It's a honeycomb wok. You can see honeycomb shape inside, but it's also stainless steel. It's a combination between stainless steel and also non-stick. Uh, let me tell you, my, my experience is after six months, the non-stick already gone. Uh, maybe that's also because I use it every day lah, that time. Okay, so I didn't really like it lah, in the end of the day. And because it has, it is also non-stick, therefore you can't use the steel. Huh? You cannot reuse a steel ladder. So, and then at the end of the day, how do you know whenever you are using, using any, uh, any wall with some coating, meaning the non-stick, um, the moment when it started to stick, you know, the, you know the coating is gone already. Okay, now, I'm sorry. Oh, 
200 of you still there. Thank you so much. <laughs> now we can very quickly cook our prawn. Okay? So I'm going to put in a bit of uh, oil here. Let me on the cooking hood. Now I can see the comment if I want. Just now I was, I have to look at my notes because there are too many things to share with you all. Glass cover is also very important to me, Wong. Yes, yes, I totally agree with you. This is why you all see, uh, all APA's air fryer has a glass, transparent glass cover. This, I want to see what's cooking inside, the cooking process. Yeah? By the way, this pot really looks so good with the red handle. <laughs> uh, let me try to see any other question coming in. Yvonne is asking, Appa, what brand is your wok? Which one? There's two, there's two wok here. This one, non-stick, this is from China. You have to go to Taobao and buy. It's called Supo. S-U-P-O-R. Somebody asking, what is the brand of this pen? Pen? I we got pen here. These two are work. Lah. I didn't take out my pen. This is from Supo. This is from Supo. This is from Thermos Malaysia. Okay? I, I love both of them. See, that's the thing I don't like about uh, electrical stove. Sometimes you accidentally touch it up, it, it becomes off already. <laughs> See, that's the beauty of a non-stick wok where it is so slippery, you see? <laughs> Uh, you should not cook your prawn more than 5 minutes. Usually anything between 3 to 5 minutes is more than enough. And because I'm using a non-stick, so I'm not really worried that this will actually get burned. Uh, anything that has added the black soya sauce uh, can get burned rather easily. So if you're using standard steel, it can actually get burned quite easily. So I'm going to close it. Let it cook for a while and tune down the fire a little bit. Like I said, don't use too high heat. What else? When it is hot, sometimes it's not clear, even with the glass cover because of the water vapor. Yes, you're right, like what's happening right now, but still, you still can see a little bit. Rather than, rather than um, uh, a, a standard steel wok like this one, you totally cannot see at all. Okay? They say, somebody says Supo can buy from Lazada. Uh, I don't think you can buy this model. This mod, you can only buy from Lazada the older model. This is the latest model. Appa, how long have you been using the non-stick wok? Most of the non-stick wok won't last that long. I already explained just now. If you, I use it every day, it lasts me about six months only. If I use it like a few times in a month, it will last me more than one year easily. Okay. See, why is it I want? Why is it I want to buy a non-stick is to do this, and then with this shape, it's easier to flip. <laughs> it's almost ready. See how easy it is to make this uh, asam prawn. I'm going to give it another one more minute, then it's basically done. Later, you're going to see a bit of camerized uh, color on the, a, ch a little bit of char on the prawn itself. Yeah? Don't worry, it's not burnt. How many inches is the Supo wok? The one I'm using here is 30 centimeter, not inches, right? I think it's centimeter, right? This one is 30. There is another one which is 32. This one is 30.
uh, code with corn flour up to you. If you want it to code with corn flour, by all means, don't do it. But I'm not, I'm not quoting it right now. Okay, like I always say, uh, there's no rules in Appa Kitchen. You don't really have to follow how I did it. Okay. Okay. Start seeing a little bit of burn mark here, but I'm telling you, it's all this burn mark because this is a stainless steel, stainless steel pot. It's very easy to wash. Basically, it's basically done. Let me on off the fire. Ooh, look how beautiful it is. And like I said, when it is still very hot, do not straight away go and wash it with cold water. Okay, if you need, if you if you can leave it until it is cold, then only wash. If you cannot wait, if this is the only what you have, then um, pour in hot water. Then only you start washing it. Okay, that's how you can. Um, mm. Mm. Nice. All right. So here's my uh, as uh, nyonya asam prawn. Very simple. Very simple for you to do and um, that's it for my uh, explanation and my, uh, my my knowledge when it comes to non-stick and stainless steel work i hope uh, it gives it managed to give you all some idea so if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends or come to cooking up our facebook fan page to click like and follow button follow up on instagram and subscribe to cooking up our youtube channel if you uh, if you want to support up channel you can buy you can do it by way of giving up our stars or um, subscribe to Cooking Appa's uh, Facebook. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye.